production teams can be traced back throughout music history. Lieber and Stoller, Baccarat and David, Gamble and Huff, Ashford and Simpson, Jam and Lewis, Savillis and Cole, and so many others. Lewis York is a production team springing from that lineage. With their unique brand of genre crossing new American soul, they are a team of two musician composers, Claude Kelly and Chuck Harmony, who joined together over a decade ago, bringing their individual talents into a collective whole. They have worked with the music industry's best, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Whitney Houston, Rihanna, Celine Dion, Lettucey, Tamia, Jonathan McReynolds, Leandria Johnson. You get the picture. I recently sat down with them to talk about their forthcoming album, Songs with Friends, which gave them the chance to collaborate with other artists for their own project. But I wanted to have a conversation about what a producer actually does. Like a rainstorm. That's a total difference. I can't take too much you me? on my phone. Yeah, yeah, you're sick of it. Yeah. Being a genre producer is to, it's not just to make cool sounds. It's to oversee the mood of the entire song. Because in case you haven't noticed, it looks like you are my right, So really don't change it. And whatever sounds or lack of sounds that matter it requires to get the point across, that's what producer's job is. That's, that's what production is for. While the singer is focused on being the singer, while the soloist is focused on being the soloist, the producer is, is, is concerned about making sure the whole world around it is telling the same story that, that we all want to get across. It's actually a much harder job than people understand. And now that I'm gone, you must be in withdrawal. Cause it looks like you want me call. Okay, so the, uh, everyone gets off of making beats. Yeah, but to be a producer, I give that vision and skill and musicality and taste. And no one to no one to push and when to stop. It's, it's not easy. When you get back here. That's so good, y'all. Quite nice. Sitting in the house on the couch with the TV on all night on. I, I definitely prefer the female voice. It's a, it's a, a, lot, a lot of male voices, when, even when they're good, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just don't jive with how my soul wants to hear your soul, how my soul wants to hear music. I mean, and, and so I love all, there's, there's plenty of male singers I love as well, but I have a soft spark, a weakness for girl, the female voice. It's just the most beautiful, when it's done right, it's the most beautiful thing in the world. Yeah. Oh, cause it's, it's bittersweet. To some extent, you know, there, there's a little bit more variety among female voices what? and and so speaking of that variety so how do you give all of these voices all of these women different spaces to do what they do or craft the sound that is that you know allows them to succeed i think it, it just has to be tailor-made to, to what you think that artist's voice will sound best on. Tell me what you know what I'm saying? Like with Anastasia, that was when I was first coming into business. And so I, I didn't have that much knowledge about her voice, but once the record label sent me stuff with her voice on it, I knew that it should be that. It should be that dancey with the big voice on top of it. I, that's what I knew. And the rhythm is da 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 
singers that know how to tell a story. And so that, when I say great, I don't mean the best singers, I mean the ones that know how to take you somewhere and tell you a story. One of the, a great singer is Tracy Chapman. A great singer is Sade. A great singer is Whitney Houston. A great singer is Jasmine Sullivan. A uh, great singer is Mary J. Blige. It's people that tell stories and make you feel something. And um, it's 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 the job of the singer to tell the story, but it's the job of everyone else to make sure the singer has the space to tell a story and lead it. A great example of this is their collaboration with Jasmine Sullivan on Forever Don't Last. This is um one of the more personal songs on my album. Um, like when I was writing it, I actually wanted to get up and just go and cry because it was so personal, but I kind of just put it on the record, so. Certain instruments or certain sounds work better with certain type of voices. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. A, a good example of that was when I worked with Jasmine Sullivan on um, Forever Don't Last. I just knew that her voice would sound so good with acoustic guitar. I never understood why nobody had ever did that because, you know what I'm saying, the, the earthiness of it, her voice with the acoustic guitar, I just knew that would be perfect. And so I do believe that, you know what I'm saying, some people sound good on certain instruments. Doesn't last too long these days. The production of Forever Don't Last places Sullivan in the center of the song with earthy accompaniment. With only an acoustic guitar and light percussion supporting her, Sullivan's instrument is allowed to reflect a variance of color, giving audiences the chance to hear the core elements of her voice. With Forever Don't Last, Sullivan is the focus. The production of Lewis York allows her to stretch and shy. And also, when you're asking the word phone, you guys are closing a little early. You go, I can't take too much. This is what you're doing, playing on my phone, playing on my phone. I need a more, I need a little more open on that. I can't take too much, playing on my phone. Yeah. With, with the producer being the leader and, 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 in the recording process and getting the finished product together, I think they should have some knowledge about it all. They should know and should know how to guide the singer to the best vocal performance. They should know how to guide the engineer to the best mix. They should know how to guide the musicians to the best instrumental performances. And so they definitely should know something about singing because singing is usually the primary instrument. So it's like you only come when you're lonely. Yeah, you're a little annoyed by it. I would consider us composers. In fact, I think I went about social art happening as a modern composer of the 21st century. Because it's not really about chasing the trends, it's about making new trends. A producer, a beat maker, a track maker is making something with the sounds that are given to them now. A composer builds a whole soundscape in the world with whatever they have at their disposal to push things forward. Tam. My preference is that everybody would know what she is the music business, so you should know music. Unfortunately, I think with commercial music is so driven by so many other factors that a, a person's knowledge of the craft is not put on display in a, in a real way, in, especially in popular music. I got a pocket full of stones and I could sing to the bottom. Their forthcoming album, Songs with Friends, showcases Louis York's vision of new American soul as they bring artists like Jesse J, PJ Morton, Tamiya, Layla Hathaway, and others into their orbit, showcasing their proficiency at placing artists with songs and sounds that expand our ideas of what artists we know and love are capable of doing. We have a whole album out called Songs with Friends, um, and it's a duet album, majority duets on the album with our real deal friends, people that we work with, love, respect, 
I want to show more love to and that the world should show more love to. I like to fill in uh, the gaps where things are missing. Real duets, not just manufactured because everybody got a fan base and he's just trying to steal people's fan bases, but real duets with real friends, real collaborators. And we also work with people that we really, really respected musically mm -hmm. so that those two entities coming together can help but make something great. Duets is a real thing, you know, there's a lot of them that took us through our lives that, that made a mark on our lives. So we wanted to be a part of that conversation as well.